So we're now going to do an infrascanner examination and we begin by marking the left side of the head and when we do this we select a point in the mid pupillary line between the hair and the eyebrow to avoid the frontal sinuses which are about here and we place the fiber optic probe firmly but not too hard and click until we hear a signal and we see blue square shows where a measurement is to be taken. The black dot will appear after the first measurement on the left side. And now we're going to go to the opposite side and we're going to select a symmetrical point, again, mid pupillary line between the hairline, above the frontal sinuses, firm but not hard pressure. We hear a beep and we now have a symmetrical infrared reading showing green and green on each side, meaning that there is no hematoma at that level. Next, we select a point in front of the upper portion of the ear, about at this level. We move the probe so as to separate the hair, wait for the signal, and confirming the correct location and the correct uh, reading. Again, anterior to the ear, in the temporal fossa, working through the hair to get down to the skin, depress, and again, we see the symmetrical reading. Next, we're going to go to the left parietal area and we select a point midway between the top of the ear and the coronal suture of the head about in this area, and again, confirming a normal reading. The top of the ear, the coronal suture, the midline of the skull, midline, and we wiggle the device to get through the, through the hair, depress. So we're going to complete the last measurement in the occipital area and we're going to select the line between the top of the ear and the back of the skull. Midway between that spot, we're going to again get through the hair and then the same point between the top of the ear, the external area or the external protuberance of the skull, midline, And we now have an absolutely normal scan bilaterally in all eight areas, four on each side.